want to lock her up. He ain't, he ain't want to waste his time over that. But. <laughs> up this your girl strings and things and today i'm coming at you with a story time i'm not sure the name of this title yet but by the time i finish telling y'all the story i definitely will have a title for the story but before we get started please go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit that bell notification so you can stay up to date with me whenever i upload a video and while you at it go ahead and like this video share it if you want and all of that good stuff now without further ado let's go ahead and get right on into it so y'all it was some time last week. Um, I'm not quite sure what day. I can figure it out if I count back the days, but I don't even feel like doing all that. But all I know is it was my day off and I was going to go get my little one from school and I was going to go ahead and take her to the library because she was like, we haven't been to the library in a while and you know. And so I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get her um, from school when school let out and we'll go ahead and go to the library and we're we'll going to have a chill all day before I go back to work and everything and we're going to hang out and we're going to chill and we just go, you know, we had planned on just staying um at the library for like an hour because I knew I still needed to do her hair and she had homework, but I didn't want her to, you know, do her homework right then and there. You know, I want her to, you know, have fun and just enjoy, you know, because she a reader just like I am. So anyway, um, to make a long story short with that, um, we ended up leaving the library a little bit earlier because her father ended up calling her and of course she wanted to go there. So she had to do her homework at the library. And so by the time he came, you know, she's gone. And so I'm like, okay. Okay, I got some free time to myself. Okay. You know, so I'm sizing and everything. So I'm like, what am I going to do? You know, um, I'm like, Dad, should I catch the bus home? Should I walk? And it's nice out there. It's nice that day. So I'm like, you know, I need to go back to the dollar store because it's some things that I want to get and everything. So I'm chilling and I'm walking back to the, um, the dollar store and everything. And... You know, everything is, you know, peaceful and quiet and I need to go to the ATM and all that stuff because it's some other things that I want to do and I'm trying to, you know, just knock everything out while I don't have my little one with me and everything. So, um, I go to the liquor store and that ATM fee is like, no, no. Uh-uh. Sometimes when it comes to ATM fees, I don't play because fees add up and everything and I don't like an ATM that give me a fee of $3. I'm not doing it. No, no. But anyway... So I get to the dollar store and, um, you know, I go to the dollar store and before I get to the dollar store, I'm like, you know what, let me go see what time the bus come because depending on what time the bus come, I'm going to go ahead and just catch the bus. And so I go and I check and I see the bus um, come like 25 minutes. I'm like, mm-mm, I'm not waiting for the bus because I could be done walk and I'd be in the house before 25 minutes, so I'm not doing that. No, no. So anyway, I go ahead and I go to the family dollar and everything. And I'm looking around, and I'm lollygagging and everything. And I'm steady up there watching my watch, because I'm like, dang, okay. You know, by the time I get out of the dollar store, it's, you know, I see that it's almost close to the 25-minute mark and everything. So I'm like, well, dang, maybe I should catch the bus. I don't know, because I really don't feel like walking. But I want her to get in the house and, you know, this, that, and the third. So um, I come out of the dollar store after getting, you know, making my purchases and everything. And now, when I come out of the dollar store, I see a group of teenagers and I see a police officer and I'm trying to figure out where this big group of kids come from because when I first got in the dollar store, they wasn't out there. So I'm trying to figure out, whoa, you know, where all these kids come from? So um, I'm out there watching the police officer and everything and he telling them, you know, y'all got to Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta get all the property and everything. They had signs all over the place that saying no, no soliciting and no loitering and everything. And so all of a sudden, I'm out there just watching everything. But what catches my eye is that it's a little girl and some little boys and everything. And one of the little girls that's um, out of the group, she decides to start slowing down and everything and giving the police officer a hard time. So when I see this, all of a sudden, I'm like, and I stop and I'm like, Oh my god, I'm about to stand right here and watch and see how this about to play out. Because I want to see how this will play out. So yeah, so I'm like, I'm just watching everything and he telling them to roll out and, and leave and everything. I'm just standing there watching. I'm like, because they really give him a hard time. And you can tell this police officer, he, he don't really feel like being bothered with them, but he want them to leave and you know because if it's a bunch of kids around 
anything could happen. Y'all can start doing stupid stuff. Y'all can get all hype and get each other all hype and everything. And then, you know, next thing you know, it's a bunch of foolishness going on. So he's trying to get them to leave and everything. And so it's just that, you know, so all the other kids, they decide, okay, well, we'll go out inside the parking lot and we're going to go away from, from the store and everything. But it's this one little girl and she stayed there or whatever. And then, you know, next thing you know, she's like, and I'm like, and he telling her, roll it out, roll it out. He trying to get her to go and get her to go and everything. And she's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And he said, I ain't going to do nothing, but you're going to roll it out and everything. And so I'm standing there still there watching her everything because it's nice outside. And I want to see, are you going to really get yourself in this trouble and everything? So I'm standing there just watching everything. And so he told her, look, go ahead and roll it out. Go ahead and leave. I told you to leave already. Go ahead and leave. Her friends are out in the parking lot just watching so they didn't already left but they stayed there watching or anything so next thing you know he's like you know telling her to leave and everything and so she turns around and she say what the fuck you gonna do bitch <laughs>
You ain't got to be like this. He ain't up letting you go, but you're still running your mouth. You're still running your mouth. You got to know how to be quiet. So now, the little chihuahua, now remember, vanilla and chocolate, chihuahua, he's small. And so, he's squared up to and everything. I'm like, y'all can't do that. What are y'all going to do? There's a police officer with a gun and everything. Y'all cannot do that. Y'all saw he told her to leave. And she didn't leave. Y'all chose to leave and she didn't. So now she got to suffer the consequences and deal with it. So, now, out of nowhere, another group of kids come. A bunch of adults are outside. Little Chihuahua done pulled out his cell phone. And I'm telling him, yeah, that's what you do. If you feel that the police officer is doing something wrong, that's what you do. But you can't square up on him or anything like that. You can't do that. You can't do that. So everybody got their phones out. And it's one dude out of the group of um adults. He said, why she getting locked up? Why she getting locked up? So the police, police officer finally say, trespassing. And before he say trespassing, I'm like this because all the adults are, you know, they're all hyping and everything. And now it's real chaotic out there. And I'm like, what the? I was out here when everything started. I'm like, all of a sudden, all these adults out here recording everything. You wrong. This, that, this, that. You wrong. You wrong. But y'all wasn't out here when that little girl was calling that police officer a bitch and all that other type of stuff. Y'all wasn't out there when she was doing that and telling him all this stuff and when she had the handcuffs on her. How she was, um, you know, talking to him and everything. And so, right is right and wrong is wrong. So one girl who got her camera out, she come over to me and she asked me what happened. And so I let her know her mouth was getting her in trouble. She was being very rude and just never get up in his face and everything. And so she like, oh man. And so by then, she put her phone down and some people started leaving and everything. And now it's a bunch of other police officers out there. And, and matter of fact, he matter of fact, as soon as the kids start running and trying to square up on him, he whipped that walkie-talkie out and they was out of nowhere. And I'm like, oh my God. So the police officers trying to break everything up and everything. I'm gonna have to go ahead and shorten this up because I don't want this to be all long and all over the place because this drained me and it wore me out. This happened, it's been about, what's today? In about two more days, it probably be a week, and it drained me. I mean, I had a headache after that. Like, seriously, I had a headache. So, you know, the police officer trying to break everything up and everything. And so, the police officer trying to um get um vanilla and chocolate to leave. And so, the man who was asking, you know, why she being locked up, and you're not going to tell us why she being locked up? You're not going to tell us why she being locked up? He said something to the police officer, like, why you got your hands on him? So, he's fine. They're finally fed up. Tell those two right there to roll out. So he tell them to roll out. He say, roll the F out. He like, roll the F out. And so the man who's saying, you're not going to tell us why they're being locked up and why you got your hands on him like that. So the other police officer, he turns around. He say, I know him. Now mind your business. So the man, he look at me like, you see how he just spoke to me. And I'm looking at him like, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're a grown ass man. So he say, all right, all right, rookie. All right, Rookie, you got it. And so Rookie tells him, you roll the fuck out. You got a problem with it? You roll the fuck out. And I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus, he is sexy talking like that, doing his job. Girl, shut up. You know you own him to be his mother. But <laughs> I'm like, right is right and wrong is wrong. So the, the dude is leaving, but he's wrong, but he's still running his mouth. The police officer finally say, uh-uh, come here, come here. So he got to turn back around and he's like this with his hands up in. He gets locked up. He gets locked up. And I'm so disappointed with him. Because I'm like this. He's grown and he should know better. He wasn't out here. It's a nice day out here. You're a black male and there should be no reason why you in the back to that car and everything. And, they, and he's now, he's trying to say why he's getting locked up. Disorderly conduct. So, at first I wasn't even going to talk about this. But, I finally got the energy to talk about it. And, to make a long story short, those kids were wrong. And to see all those adults come out there and start egging those kids on and telling the police that they were wrong and all of this and all of that. Now, I don't like police officers either. I'm not going to sit there and lie. I don't. And I almost told the police officer, you know... I don't even like police officers for real, but right is right and wrong is wrong. But I knew that if I possibly said that, that 
I get myself into some trouble. So I didn't say that. I've had experience when I was 13 and her situation could have been a whole lot worse. It could have been just like mine and it wasn't. So all those adults that were out there that were inciting ignorance, I felt bad because I said, it don't make no sense that these adults out here, y'all got y'all cameras out and everything, and rightfully so, if something, some type of wrongdoing is going on, but no wrongdoing on the police officers were being done. That's one thing I can say. And so, you know, I had to stay back because they was asking me, are you going to be a witness to, you know, what the police officers are saying? And so was me and two other, you know, adults and everything. But the moral of this story is it takes a village to raise a child. I'm so happy that my daughter's father ended up picking her up because I didn't want her to see any of that, even though she should have seen some of that. So she could see what not to do. But I'm glad she didn't because I be trying to mind my business, but you know, when right is right and wrong is wrong, my mother, my mother, she kicks out and she comes out and everything. And I just am so grateful that I work the hours that I work with. I can supervise my child because I know half these parents out here whose kid was out there acting a fool. I know some of them at work and they can't supervise their kid because they have to be at work so that they can provide a roof over their head and all of the things and put clothes on their back and food in their mouth and all of that. So, no, I know some of these parents are not just letting their kids be all foolish and all heathen and hellions out there. I know they're not. But it takes a village to raise a child. And I was trying to talk that girl out of her mess and everything. And I really believed I could have. He didn't want to lock her up. He, he didn't want to waste his time over that. But, you know, she kept on running her mouth and everything. So it takes a village to raise a child. If we had more parents out there that let these kids know right is right and wrong is wrong. And then it won't be as much mess out here. Those parents, well, those grown-ups who was just, you know, egging it on, just want to see some drama. No, you're part of the problem. So the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a child. Yes, it do. In 2019, it still takes a village to raise a child. And I just thank God that I am around to supervise my child and raise my child. But I don't mind being part of the village. And let somebody else child under their own. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this on up. If you enjoyed this story time, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And hit the notification bell to keep up to date with me whenever I upload a video. And on that note, I am out. Do say.